probably my my journey from success to significance from my point of view was, was interesting. I looked at in business when I was working the idea of having big boats and big houses really just didn't do it for me. And then I found that I could actually use money to impact the lives of others in a significant way. And that suddenly provided a purpose to my work. And once I had that purpose, suddenly opportunities opened up for my business and for me personally in such a big way. And we were able to use the profits and dividends from that growth to benefit others. Our foundation has three major areas. We have 40% goes to poverty alleviation programs overseas. So we support women entrepreneurs in developing countries through Opportunity International, which is a microfinance provider. $200 for a small loan to start a business. Um, we have a BHAG, which is a big, hairy, audacious goal to fund 1 million people out of poverty by the year 2020. So far, we're at 190,000, but we're on the way. Um, the other 40% is in southeast Queensland, so we look for marginalised communities that are needing special care. A particular passion of mine is Karuna. Karuna deals with the end of life issues for families and, uh, and people that are going through the dying process. And they seek to transform and enrich lives. And they do it in such a special way that it makes the end of life process so much easier for the people going through it. A fabulous charity, a great organisation to be part of. 20% is in the Social Innovation Fund, so we look at that through members of our family to participate in. And we look there through social entrepreneurship particularly. So we're looking at young people who are bringing vibrant ideas to the community that they want to explore and try and change some of those more difficult issues that we face in our community.